by Ogden Nash. In the first stanza, the poet says that a little girl Belinda lives in a small white house. The girl has many pets at home. She has a small kitten who is black in color, a little mouse who is gray in color and a creature who was really and truly a dragon. Also, there was a little red wagon in the house. In the second stanza, the poet tells the name of the pets who were in Belinda's home. He says that Belinda has named the little black kitten as Ink and the little grey mouse as Blink. The little dog was sharp and was yellow in color as Mustard, so she named him Mustard. She named the dragon Custard, which symbolizes that he was a coward animal and not brave enough, as the other creatures of the home. In the third stanza, the poet describes the features and characteristics of a dragon. He says that the dragon has big sharp teeth. He looks scary as his skin is pointed at the top, and his lower part has scaled underneath. His mouth looks like a fireplace showing his power. His nose is compared with a chimney through which smoke comes out from the fire of his mouth. The dragon's toes are so pointed that it can cut anything like a sharp knife. In the fourth stanza, the poet has explained all the characters of the poem and described their brave nature. He says that Belinda was as brave as a group of bears. Ink and Blink were so brave that they can scare and even chase away someone as strong as a lion. The bravery of the mustard dog was compared to that of the tiger's anger. However, Custard is described as opposite his physical nature. Instead of being brave as a dragon, he has been described as fearful who always cries for a nice safe cage. In this stanza, the poet has described how Belinda and other pet animals behave with the dragon. He says that Belinda used to tickle the dragon in a harsh way. Ink, Blink and Mustard have named him Percival. They make fun of him by calling him Percival because Percival was a king who was thought to be brave, but he had run away in the battle. They all laugh at the dragon by sitting in the little wagon and make him feel that he is a coward. In the sixth stanza, the poet says that Belinda laughs so loud that it seems that the complete house is shaken due to her laughter. The mouse also laughed at the dragon by making a wreck sound. The ink and mustard used to ask the dragon's age and make fun of him when he used to cry for a nice safe cage. This shows that the dragon behaved like a small kid and the other creatures used to tease him. In this stanza, the poet says that, when all of them were busy making fun of the dragon, suddenly everyone heard an unpleasant sound. It seems like someone had entered the house. They saw that a pirate was climbing the window of the house. At this moment, the dog barked at him and the cat meowed to him. Belinda cried as she got scared of him. In this stanza, the poet has described the appearance of the pirate. He says that the pirate has guns in both hands. He was also carrying a bright sharp blade between his teeth. He had a black beard and one of his legs was injured. So, he seems to be a very dangerous person, who intended to harm the house. In the ninth stanza, the poet has explained the reaction of the pet animals and Belinda after seeing the pirate. Belinda became pale with fear and cried for help. The pet animals whom she thinks are brave could not help her. The dog. Mustard cried for a while and then ran away and Kitten Ink went to the bottom of the house to hide herself. The mouse Blink ran to his mouse hole and smartly disappeared to save himself. In the tenth stanza, the poet described the bravery of the dragon. He says that when all other pet animals flew away to save themselves, the dragon came into the picture. He jumped at the pirate and made a large noise through his nose like an engine. Here, the noise produced by the dragon symbolizes that he was in an angry mood. He moved his tail with a great force that produced a clattering sound like an iron rod striking the walls of the prison. He moved towards the pirate in a similar way as a robin bird that attacks the worm. In this stanza, the reaction of the pirates towards the dragon is explained. The poet says that the pirate got shocked by the dragon's reaction and gave him a good look. The pirate drank some wine that he carried with him in his pocket. Then he fired two bullets on the dragon, but those bullets did not hit him. Then Custard the dragon, ate him quickly without leaving any trace of him. 
In this stanza, the poet says that everyone was amazed when the dragon ate the pirate. Everyone was filled with happiness. Belinda hugged him, and Mustard touched him with his tongue to express his gratitude towards the dragon for saving them. No one was sad about the death of pirates. Ink and Blink were happy and started moving in a circular motion around the dragon to express their joy. In this stanza, the poet mentioned that after the pirate incident, it became clear who was brave. But everyone gave their excuses about why they weren't able to kill the pirate. Mustard Dog said he would have been twice as bold as a dragon, if he had not been nervous and confused. Ink and Blink think themselves thrice as brave as a dragon. They could not believe that the dragon had done such a great task and saved their lives. The humble dragon silently listened to them and agreed that everyone was braver than him. In the last two stanzas, the poet has repeated the same lines he had used to introduce the poem. From the incident, it was clear that the dragon was a brave animal. But no one in the house was ready to accept this. Everyone thinks himself to be braver. The poet says that life started again in a similar way, where Belinda lives with their pet animals. Everyone was considered brave except the dragon, who was still considered a coward animal. The Tale of Custard the Dragon Poem Summary This poem is a humorous ballad that presents a piece of writing in a funny way. A little girl Belinda is described in this poem, with many pets whom she had named. She has named the black kitten as Ink, grey mouse as Blink, yellow dog as Mustard and a coward dragon as Custard. The poet has beautifully described all these characters in the poem. He says that all of them are very brave except the dragon. But his perception changes when the dragon saves everyone from the attack of pirates on Belinda's house. The theme of the poem. The poem's topic is that everyone has their own unique qualities and should never be judged based on their appearance. We should never make fun of somebody based on their behavior, looks, qualities, or flaws. For they are the ones who stand tall and boldly in the face of adversity. The Tale of Custard the Dragon Summary in an Easy Way Frederick Ogden Nash is the poet. This poem is a fantasy in verse about Belinda, who lives alone in her house with her four pets. These are a little kitten ink, a grey-coloured mouse blink, a little yellow-coloured dog mustard and a dragon custard. All the people of the house pride themselves on their fearlessness and bravery. They believe the games, and they look down upon poor Custard for his timidity. One day when a pirate arrives, only Custard is ready with a ferocious response at that moment. He gobbles the pirate up and shows his friends about bravery. After the danger is passed, all again begins to boast about their courage. Custard agreed that everyone is brave more than him. But now everyone is knowing the fact as to who is brave and who is a coward. Central idea of the poem. Everything and everyone made or born in our world, no matter how small or large has a special significance. We often underestimate people by looking at their weaknesses, but they show themselves through their wits and actions. We must never look down on others. Each individual is unique in their own way. They may have various skill sets that we are ignorant of. A person whom we consider to be useless or unimportant can become a hero in unexpected and unforeseen circumstances. Furthermore, correct and timely measures are usually advantageous. In other words, a stitch in time saves nine, which also serves as the poem's central theme. For more update, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.